I was on the table when the doctor told me I was too far gone. Fourteen weeks meant the test had been wrong and so was the procedure. They counseled me and sent me home to talk to my boyfriend. I have a photo of us on top of World Trade Tower 2. Thanksgiving 1984, I'm a tourist from Boston squinting in the sun. The photo looks faded, but it's just overexposed. I didn't know my condition up on that tower. The day before, I peed in a cup to see if I could take a risky sulfa drug for hives. That fall, my boyfriend was living in Texas. We only had sex twice, but I saw that doctor three times. I grew up with choice. I'm old enough to remember the case. I was still in school. I wasn't married. They read me warnings of the dangers of that sulfa drug. I learned pro-choice can help a man close a conversation. My boyfriend comforted me and paid $500, all feeling feminist and supportive. When you're in your second trimester, they send you home full of matchsticks to think about choices you no longer have. I don't talk about me because then I have a label. Now I have to read your look. Do you read mine and misunderstand? Regret doesn't mean I wish I'd changed my mind. I would have had a different life, a life without my teenage son who had a different father. I might not work in a museum. I wouldn't be here now. I felt like those matchsticks earned me silence. And this is just an old, old story. But I have a picture of two people cold against a skyline. I'm smiling, leaning in. He's frowning, leaning away. I gave him everything, and then I left him. Everything except the picture. Somewhere in it is a thing that never happened. If it hadn't been a holiday up on a tower, maybe I wouldn't remember that detail about the photo. It never faded. It was always overexposed. You can't fix that. When I hold it, I don't see the towers. They were never in the frame, and now they're, they're gone. I see the smiling face of a 24-year-old woman who didn't know yet then she might have a child your age. Please keep